Lukewarm is the best kind of soup. Literally nobody thinks that at all. Oh, look, a show! Anthony here for D News, which is nothing special. I am always here. But Trisha Hirschberger from SourceFed Nerd is also here, which is mega special. Yay! Yes, that is mega special, but please do not downplay the specialness of yourself, Anthony. I felt that. I felt that in here. You know, it's customary on D News to haze a new friend in because we're super mature. So tell me an embarrassing memory. Go. Oh, God. Um, well, when I was 10, I peed my pants in front of a boy that I liked while my mom was kicking my ass in air hockey at a Dairy Queen arcade. I was also in my PJs when it happened. There are probably the most levels of sadness possible in that. That is a perfectly constructed sentence of woe. Now, what if I told you that you could erase that memory from your head, just from your head, because the internet is going to remember it forever now? Forever. Yeah, yeah, I know. You must be talking about that known antihistamine study from Basel University that can help erase bad memories all like eternal sunshine, vanilla sky, hijacking from the Hunger Games like. We talked about something like this earlier this year where uh, researchers were able to cut off a particular function of a rat's brain at the genetic level to remove the emotional weight of a memory. But there were some concerns there because first of all, uh, switching anything off at the genetic level isn't super feasible in humans because we need our genes, they do stuff. Plus there was no targeting. The emotional weight of all the memories was removed. So you lose the good with the bad. Like, don't leave me, Clementine. Get me in Montauk. But that's what's so rad about the new study and its effects. Like this is an actual pill that erases the bad stuff but has no effect on the neutral or positive memory. In a double blind placebo controlled study on humans, a single dose of the drug caused significant reduction in the memory recall of seeing negative pictures. But there were no effects on seeing positive or neutral pictures. So does this mean that Pea Pants over here can finally get over her traumatic past? You better be nice to me or I'll tell them about the canoe thing with the pressure cooker. So is it a drug? Subject change. In all seriousness, or mostly, but nah, seriousness, the good thing about this new pill is that it may open up potential ways to treat PTSD and anxiety disorders. So don't go calling Basel University and asking to be a clinical trial participant to erase your ex-boyfriend. This is serious stuff. And of course, one positive clinical trial does not mean that this is a safe or effective drug just yet. But it sounds like huge strides have been made in just the couple of months since our last video. Though I am a little thrown off by the fact that they keep saying this is based on a known antihistamine, but they never actually mention the compound. That's because everybody would use it. Okay, but that also <laughs> brings up a big question. Would you actually get rid of your bad memories if you could? I know that I should have learned from countless movies and books and television episodes that I want to hold on to all of my memories and I can learn from them and blah, 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 but I'd just take the blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Why would you take it? Uh, I don't think I would because all of my greatest achievements come from ego and revenge. How about you guys? Uh, would you chug some allergy meds, forget that embarrassing time at summer camp? Let us know down below, subscribe for more D News, and oh hey, Trisha Hirschberger, where do they see more of your videos? He casually asked. Well, you can find me on some videos and funny stuff on SourceFed Nerd. It's this uh, wacky place on youtube.com slash SourceFed Nerd. Or you can find me on the Twitter space at, at that girl Trish. No, I and the girl. No, I and the girl. No, I and the girl.